All right, guys, Kazoo 71 here on Fjordor. I am in Midgard. I want to show you where the artifact of the cunning is. It's, I'm at latitude 76.9, longitude 64.8. This is a underwater cave, but once you get in it, it's not an underwater cave. So the entrance to it is underwater. So what you could do, uh, I'm going to use a bacilla, I mean, uh, I'm going to use a baryonyx in here. So what you could do is you could just come in here with a baryonyx underwater. And not do what I'm doing. So I, I did a little flash forward there. I had to collect some meat real quick. Um, and then as you can see this little area here. I've been in here multiple times. But I never really noticed that there was a hole in the ground. So you can't get through that wall. But I'm heading back out here. And as you can see there's a hole right there. And that's where you got to go. So you go down this little hole. And then you're going to come up in here. And there's going to be an entrance to this cave. So it's a real simple thing. It's not hard to get into. Um, like I said you could just take a... Uh, baryonyx in here straight away so i tried to snip at these bats a little bit see if i could kill them and um it took too well long i didn't do it so i'm just going to park my basil underwater i'm going to pull out my baryonyx and then we're going to get in this cave and i'm going to show you guys so we're just going to get on the berry and get up here and start eating these bats and get rid of these guys and see no problem to get the berry out of the water so you could take a berry in here all the way straight from the surface so let's just get these bats out of here. And I'm going to show you guys the whole cave all the way up to the uh, artifact. I'm not just going to run this thing real quick. And, um, and then after I get to the artifact, I'll show you guys a second rune. There's two runes in here that I found. There's also a pirate ship in here if you want to go look around in here. There's a ton of megalosauruses in here that I call sleepyheads. And there's a bunch of them in the ground. And I don't know if I show them in this video or not. I kind of walk by them. But... Uh, I cut most of that out because the second part I went in there I was looking at them I was counting them there were like 10 of them in this one spot so so what I'm gonna do is go back in the water here get some meat out of my basil I'm not gonna show you guys all this but he needs a uh, fish meat for the baryonyx so I'm just gonna do that real quick I'm gonna move the basil a little closer grab all the fish meat out because the berry will only eat fish meat and the basil will eat anything so any kind of meat I'm gonna get my ba uh, baryonyx and I'm gonna switch forward and just gonna dump this meat in here and we're going to fast forward this we don't need to show you all that so after i got all that in there cleaned out the inventory on we go and put my torch on so we can see there's some boxes all over the ground in here if you harvest these things i'll show you guys you do get some stuff in these boxes and i'll show you in a minute when i when i get off the berry and harvest a couple but uh we're just going to walk through here it's pretty easy to do i'm going to take my scuba gear off put my normal silk desert armor back on Kill these guys, a couple of scorpions and titan boas and bats and spiders so far, the Arneos. So, not too difficult. Let's make sure I got the right gear on. Yeah, okay, sorry. I still have my scuba hat on, my uh, goggles on. <laughs> so there's dung beetles in here. And then here's where the boxes are. I'm telling you there's an artif uh, or the rune stone right there. But I want to see if I can break these with the berry. You can't, so I'm going to grab a hatchet out. And you can see you get polymer, I get some metal ingots, and I get obsidian. So these boxes are pretty good to harvest. If you need some polymer, there's polymer in here. This is an organic polymer. It's regular. Like, not like it works any different, but I'm going to go ahead and throw a glow stick down so I can see. Break a couple more of these guys so you can see what I get. If you guys need to pause it there to see what I'm picking up, there you go. I'm not going to sit here and hang on this thing the whole time. But uh, there's the inventory. I'm going to drop the obsidian and keep the polymer and the metal. And then here we go. Cleaned out my inventory. Let's pick up this other, this first rune stone right here. All right. And then we're going to head down these stairs. And this is the big room I was talking about. This is where the sleepy heads are. This is where the pirate ship is. You can't get to the pirate ship. It's just the purple crystals on the left side back there. That's where it's at if you guys want to see it. Um, didn't really show it in this video because it's not what I'm doing. I'm showing you guys where the artifact is and how to get to it and what it takes to get to it. So as you can see, I'm fighting um, titan boas, scorpions, spiders in here. There's also the centipedes right there, the Aretha Floridons. So there those guys are. And there's a sleepy head on the left right there on the ground. You see it? So I didn't hit it and I saw it right there and I'm like, oh, don't hit that. I don't want to wake those guys up. They're in a cave, so they're more aggressive in a cave because it's like being in the dark. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this thing. And we're not going to mess with the sleepyhead. I'm going to look at it real quick so you can see what level it is. Not that high. 
There's more on the ground here, so just be careful. Keep your torch on or something, because they're, they're all over the ground in here. So I'm just going to go straight is what we're going through. This little glassy-looking uh, tunnel here. And there is going to be a massive fight that I have to do right here with a bunch of bats again. Titan boas, scorpions, centipedes, all the same stuff right here. Just a big mass of them here. So I'm not going to flash forward this. I want to fast forward. I want to show you guys. And um, of course, with a berry, it's really easy to do. You can just take them all out. And uh, a buddy of mine who plays on this, he would use a Megatherium because he gets that bug buff from the uh, scorpions. But I don't, I don't use that. I think they're too tight in these caves, and the berry is just my best option. Oh, broke a bunch of my armor there. So I'm gonna put some uh, hide armor on to replace it. But oops, that uh, centipede must have got me. I don't know how that happened. That was pretty close. Kill that last one. Come on, dude. Die. Die already. You don't want to live. What about a 540? Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, so I finished clearing them out. And then what I'm going to do is look in this next little room here. And I was curious if there's anything up here, but there's not. So to the so when you come in here to the left, which I'm facing to the right, there's a door. You can't go. So you can only go to the right. So when you come in this room, you're going to make a right. And as you can see, there's a little uh, a hole in the ground here with some spikes. If you fall in there, you will die instantly. So don't fall in there. And there's some traps on the floor here. As you can see, I'm just going to walk between them. They can't hit me on the berry. And then we're just going to follow the little path here. And here is the artifact. So guys, if you needed to just find where the artifact and how far it is, here it is. So I appreciate you guys watching. If this was all you need to see, I'll show you guys the coordinates and everything in just a second here. But I'm going to walk out of here a little bit and show you guys where the other rune is if you want to keep watching. But this is the artifact of the cunning. And that's where it's at. Let's pull the coordinates out one more time and show you the exact location of this. And I'm at 73.6 latitude, 72.8 longitude. Now, if you guys are stopping here, I appreciate you guys. Please leave comments if you got them. And uh, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. But if you want to keep watching, we're going to get, head back out of here. And we are going to find that other rune. I'll show you where it's at. Rune stone. Or rune, I guess. So we got back to this jump again. Now, the berry can jump, so I'm just jumping across. I was scared I might fall in there. Now, when I get up here, I'm going to... Let me put a couple levels in my berry real quick. We're going to just go straight like I'm heading towards this door that's closed and you can see there's a path this way so we're gonna head this way and there's a bat in here let me kill that bat real quick oh, that was an easy one a low level and as you see there's a path back here a little bit of water um, there's bats in here there's a spider back here but you don't get me and there's the other rune right there guys there's also a loot crate as you can see so if you just wanted to see where that was, there you go. And I appreciate you guys. And um, if you guys leaving the video here, thanks for watching again. And I'll see you next time. I'm just going to kill this bat and raid this loot crate real quick if you keep watching. And as you can see, it gave me rabies. So, um, yeah, bring some lesser antidotes with you if you got them because you're going to need them in here probably. I'll go ahead and take one now. I always carry them in these caves. I never trust these bats. Cause you never know when you're gonna get it and here we go let's raid this loot crate and there we go and um, let's just move forward we're just gonna head back out of here same way I go and I kind of looked around that cave where the sleepy heads were and then I just headed back to my basil put my berry in a uh, soul ball or you could crowd pot it and get back on my basil source and we are head out of here so that's pretty much this cave, guys. It's not that complicated. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please leave comments and like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.